As you can see, I have started reassembly. I've got the wheel sets back in place, along with the connecting rods and the boiler feed pump, which you can't see from there. However, an old problem has raised its ugly head again, and that is there is quite a bad tight spot when I try and rotate the wheels. So looking at the left-hand side and the driving wheel set, if I go as in forward motion of the locomotive, it starts to get tight there, very tight. And then in reverse, it gets very tight there. So around about a 90 degree arc Elsewhere, it's quite nice, quite smooth. I guess I was optimistically hoping it would just wear out. But whilst I've got all the other parts off, it would be sensible to have a look and see if I can get rid of it or make it significantly better than what it is. My initial thoughts are that I've got bent coupling rods. It's not going to be very visible or very easy to get on video. But with all three wheel sets over to one side, so effectively now the wheels are towards me, it would appear that the bearing on the driving crank pin from the connecting rod, the front rod, that it's pushed out from the wheel. So yeah, that's quite a good demonstration. And I think that's caused by the leading rod been very slightly bent, probably bowed out whilst I was milling all that metal off the back side of it or the inside of it here. So I'm going to get the connecting rods off and have a look and see what I can do to maybe straighten out that bend. Tracking down the source of the problem is a bit of a challenge. It only occurs, of course, when both sets of coupling rods are on, that's on both sides, front and rear, or leading and trailing. And I can't just take off the rods on one side because then the wheels aren't fully synchronized and they go out of sync. I can just have the front rods on, which is what I've got at the moment. And we can see that there is no binding here. In fact, they run beautifully smoothly. A little bit of friction, but nothing of any great concern. So on that basis, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the trailing rods that are causing the problem and the trailing rods on the left hand side, which with the frames upside down, of course, is this side facing the camera now. So I'll do a few checks offline to see if I can find out where the problem is occurring. I have checked the distance between the axles. I did that before I machined the rods in the first place. And they are fairly consistent on both sides. So I don't have an axle at an angle. I'm pretty good in that respect. To test the rods to see if one of them is bent or either of the bent for that matter, I'm using my milling table. Because the bearing for the leading crank pin is offset, by 3.2 mil, I've turned up a couple of bushes, one for the driving crank pin and one for the trailing crank pin, both of which have got a shoulder that's 3.2 mil thick. This end being the leading wheel set, this one being the driving wheel set, and this one being the trailing wheel set. So the rods should now lie flat. And if I zoom in on that driving crank pin, we may see the issue. And we can see the bearing is actually sitting above that shoulder, round about a mil. But that is of course indicating that it is being pushed up by one or both of the rods. As the leading coupling rod sits quite nicely on the wheel set, I'm pretty sure the issue is caused by the trailing rod back here. So number one, I need to get it so that these would all sit nicely on those bushes without that springy offset. With a bit of tweaking and a slight bend, 
on this trailing rod on the left hand side and a bit of a polish on some of the crank pins and in particular the knuckle joint and I seem to be over the worst of it. There is still a slight tight spot round about there but I am going to let that one wear out or wear in. Yeah, hangs up there just, but nowhere near as bad as what it was.